math boy. I don't think I've ever really seen that movie, but I know that line for some reason. It's, apparently it's the scariest part of the movie. Thank you all so much for coming to the show tonight. This is fun. This is our fifth show in a row this week. I don't think I've done five shows in a row since I was, you know, 23 five years ago. And, um, it's been a while. But I'm having so much fun. I'm so energized playing these classic songs that it's just like I could just go on for the next five days. As long as you keep showing up, I will. How about that? Woo! Um, if you haven't figured out, this is the section of the show where we're featuring songs from my new album of old songs. It's called Classic. And um, I actually went to the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville and, and I asked them if, if they would mind if I took a piece of the Opry to Canada and traveled across the country and kind of gave people sort of the experience of the Opry for those of you who may never make it down to Nashville to see an actual Opry show. And um, I said, I want to replicate one of the mic stands and put a really cool... Oh, wow, I haven't seen that before. <laughs> just kidding. Um, and just bring like the, the vibe of it all to you guys. And they said that instead of making a replica, they would just let me have one of the mic stands from the stage. So... <laughs> if you're a hockey fan, it's the Stanley Cup. If you're religious, it's the Holy Grail. <laughs> Your country fan, it's the Grand Ole Opry Mike Stan. I had, uh, we won't be posing for pictures and signing autographs in the lobby later. I had, uh, <laughs> I had a lot of help on this album and I had a lot of fun making it. Um, I had some friends come in and sing on a few songs with me and when I was originally talking about doing it with my, my record label, they said, well, you know, a couple of duets would be good. You know, some special moments would be nice. And I said, well, my God, it's... You know, high summer, everybody's touring. Who's gonna go out of their way to come and sing with me? So I just started asking everybody. I just had this list of people that I really, you know, my wish list of people I'd like to sing with, and lo and behold, they didn't all say yes. So then I was, uh, I was presented with this wonderfully fabulous accidental problem. So now the album is half duets. But we, uh, Dean Brody came in and sang, I'm moving on. He sang very deep. <laughs> and uh, Dirk Bentley came and sang on Golden Ring. <laughs> and uh, Tanny Tucker sang on Delta Dawn. <laughs> and Jan Arden sang on Leave It On Your Mind. <laughs> and last but not least, the headliner of this whole thing, Reba came and sang on... <laughs> Um, she was so gracious. She would be very proud of me because I made a costume change during the show tonight. <laughs> Reba and I... <laughs> Somebody was on Twitter and they thought this was a dress. I'm like, who are you talking about? <laughs> really? Um, no, Reba and I toured together once in the 90s with Brooks and Dunn, and then again, and I, think, I think it was 2003 or 2004 with Brad Paisley, and it was called the Two Hats and a Red Hat Tour. <laughs> I was one of the hats, and uh, you know she uh, she was she she used to always tell me when we were hanging out and stuff. She'd say, "Terry Clark, wearing that cowboy hat's the best thing you've ever done." <laughs> Don't mess with your hair, but you need costume change. <laughs> I used to think just taking the hat on and off during the show constituted a costume change. But I uh, rode that one as far as I possibly could, and now I'm going way out on a limb. <laughs> way out! Um, Reba was actually late getting to the studio by five minutes to sing with me, and um, this is how professional she is. You know, if it were Mariah Carey, she'd probably waltz in there and just be like, like eight hours late and be like, hmm, where'd everybody go? <laughs> so Reba calls me from her car. She's just driving herself over the studio, and the message she left because I don't know how I did not answer my phone when Reba calls. You can just answer. But I didn't. She wound up leaving a message and it went something like this. <laughs> hey Terry, this is Reba. I'm over on Granny White Pike and I don't know what the problem is, but I'm just backed up in traffic. 
I'm gonna be about five minutes late, but I'm warming up in the car. See ya. <laughs> No, because I listened to it 800 times. <laughs> I'm a girl. Anyway, um, I've gone on long enough about, about all of that, and I want to uh, now take the opportunity, since I've introduced you to all my duet partners, to introduce you to my uh, road family, this band I had up here on stage with me. And, uh, this is the last show of our Canadian tour. We're going to Michigan to play a, a casino on Sunday, but we're going to lose some of our, uh, our crew members tomorrow that have other things to do with people named Johnny Reed. So I want to thank George Gordon for being the most wonderful light guy ever! Our lighting director, George, who's been wonderful on this tour. I want to thank Daryl Sullivan, who has the, uh, he manages a lot of stuff on the stage and he sells merch and he does a wonderful job and we love him. I want to thank Jeff Jones, who is not only the co-producer on Classic, but my tour manager and he's running the front of house sound. He works very, very hard. And I would like to uh, thank Uncle Tommy Webb for getting us on stage every night and making sure nobody's late. And uh, my guitar tag, wonderful uh, guy and, and uh, runs all the monitors so we can hear ourselves. So I want to make sure I thank the crew, everybody, uh, before we, you know, we, we part ways. And now for the people on stage. Are you ready? Woo! Not only is she the only other lady on the stage, well, she may be the only lady on the stage, but um, <laughs> she's the only other Canadian on the stage. Woo! And she's from Ontario. Talented Ali Rainey on fiddle in the background. Oh, this is so <laughs> you can tell it's the last show. I'm goofy. Um, this next gentleman is married to a Canadian, so he kind of qualifies as half, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, he produced the, the East Coast Country Music Recording of the Year on his wife, Riley Madison, and she is from Halifax, Nova Scotia. And then he's from Nashville, Tennessee. And he is playing and singing his butt off on this tour. We're proud to have him out here and always entertaining. Um, <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, da, 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 da. Everybody from Winnemac, Indiana, this is Clay Krasner. Um, on all the uh, guitars over here, and uh, I think this guy helps make this band sound twice as big as it is, and he's just a, a talented individual. He played the lead solo on Moving On that you hear uh, on, on the album, and, and I'm uh, really proud to have him in the band, and he's the band leader, so he helps us get these wonderful people out here to tour with us, and, uh, and uh, boy, they're stellar. It's the best band I think I've ever had on the road, so I have him to thank for a lot of it. Everybody from South Carolina, this is Chris Potros. is usually coming from um, the kids. And Jason is very, very talented. He's from Atlanta, Georgia. This is Jason Cheek, everybody on the drums. Do I have kids in the band? Kids are freaks these days. Have you watched YouTube? Seriously. The ages on this half of the stage don't add up to one of the ages on this half of the stage. But we're okay with it. We are going 
to do a song. <laughs> he just steps back and is like, oh, you're all just crazy. Um, I, we're we're going to do a song that it turned out to be a lot of people's favorite song on Classic, and it's definitely up there for me. Um, it's not one of the songs I grew up playing, but I grew, grew up hearing, and I've always loved it my whole entire life. And um, I don't think any, any album of covers would have been complete without a Glenn Campbell song. <laughs> 